Next, we're going to go see the garage. For her family, they always enter the house through the garage. And so right on this door, since it's metal, is a perfect spot to keep all her kids' um, schedules for school. Um, their little chore list is here, what, they ex what she expects everyone to do. And then each kid also has one extra chore, like clear the table, wash the dishes, set the table, take out the garbage, those kind of things. But it's nice to have little magnets and schedules just right there handy. Um, let me see if I can. I love how she's labeled these. Nook, driveway, garage, and kitchen. See, how it's cute. Her garage is amazing because she has used so much vertical space. If you have the height, you need to build up and use that storage because look how high it can go. So they've used these um, two by fours and just created their own little luggage rack. Big space for your coolers and your big, you know, you need at your soccer game, you got the big Gatorade <laughs> box or whatever. This is where all her little um, mops and uh, what are they called? Sweepers and things go. Okay, this is what I love. Since she, since for her kids, they come in through the garage door, she's got these nice um, hooks where all her kids can hang up their own coats. She's got all these shoe places so that they can put away their shoes. Um, she has changed it up a little bit because she's staging the house, but she said there used to be a bench here, and there used to be, and I'll show it to you in a minute, there used to be a bin where she keeps the kids' socks. So... Um, <laughs> I'll show it to you in a minute, but this is also where they put their lunch boxes and they're in charge of, you know, taking out their own Tupperware and putting it in the dishwasher and then hanging up their lunch box right there, which my kids are too. I've got a little spot in my kitchen where they know that's where their lunch box goes and they know my girl, Boo, she knows right when she gets home, she's got to hang up her backpack, clear out her um, lunch sack and then put her shoes on the shoe rack as well. You've got to have those three things for kids, like a dedicated spot for those th things or else things are just gonna get scattered everywhere. But yeah, I really love that. See, hooks, hooks galore, shelves galore, <laughs> and also baskets, those three things. It's a repeating theme. So this is what she does with her socks. Everybody's socks go in their own bin. Everybody, the whole family's socks are all right here. So when you come home and you have dirty socks, you put them right here. And then when the sock drawer needs to be washed, you take the whole drawer out, go do the laundry, and then fold them up back where they were and then just stick them back in each, each kid's drawer. I kind of like that idea. <laughs> I like that idea. And this used to be out. This actually sock system used to be out in the garage where all the shoes were. So. It makes sense to have your socks right where your shoes are. And so you would, wouldn't even need a dedicated sock drawer in your actual dresser. So there's a thought, there's an idea for you if you um, like that idea to just do everybody's socks all at once. Every single family member's shoes are right here. And she says spiders do not get in them because that was the thing for me. I was like, I don't know if I could put in my garage because of spiders. But we actually spray the perimeter of our house and we really don't have a problem with it. And she says she doesn't either and that her husband sprays. So go for it. If you have a shoe problem and no shoe storage, stick them in your garage. And I love the hooks everywhere. So anyways, this is her couponing stuff where she just has extra detergent, extra cleaning things that she gets. Um, you know, paper towels and whatnot. It's kind of a big garage. It's a double, these are all her husband's tools. It's a double garage. When it's um, winter, their bikes go there, so they just hang three there and like two there, I think. Anyways, and then they still have room to park the car, the second car here, because the ceiling is so high. I'm not sure if everybody could do that, but I love it. Even, even when the garage door opens, they've got shelving right as you come in above the garage so you know extra pieces of rug or carpet or whatever you want camping gear whatever so much storage 
Look at all that vertical space, how well she's using it. Up to the very ceiling, people. Up to the very ceiling. Shelves, shelves and shelves. <laughs> all right, thanks for coming with me to the garage.